Enter David Sorrell, doctor to the bedeviled, psychiatrist, M.D., Ph.D., mumble jumbo. And Boogie Spooky, D.I., doctor of the inconceivable. <laughs> Despite your amusing definitions, Miles, he's still a psychiatrist. A profession which concerns itself, at least so I'm led to believe, with all conditions of the human self. Mm. Or inhuman? Leading question. Inadmissible. Sometimes I think he really believes the unbelievable. I know when it started, four years ago. Right after the Seleski case. Who? Let's hear about the Seleski case. Sorry. Confidential information. Restricted to the trade. Oh, well, I'll tell about it. Seems there was this middle-aged chemist named Seleski, and he imagined himself. Miles. Don't. Why not? I mean that. All oh, right. Master, I beg your occult forgiveness. All right, let's uh, forgo poor Mr. Selatsky. In all your expertise, David, if someone in this room were beset by a devil, how would you know? I wouldn't, unless your devil chose to reveal himself. In that case, I expect we'd all know. You know, I think I smell one. Spreading sulfur on the air. And cased or something in an aura of purple lights. And he is... There, Paul Varney. Paul? Give us a sign of evil incarnate. Don't be a fool, Miles. Miles, while you're at it, why don't you try and find out where he really was last night? And, um, why he bought that crazy mirror? To snatch your soul and carry it to hell. What do you think? <laughs> 